mind. This is called uh, New Year's on Nine Mile Prairie. And I have to back up a bit. Nine Mile Prairie is, um, um, let's see, how many acres is that? About 160 acres of virgin prairie right near Lincoln, Nebraska. It's actually over by the, um, the old air base that we had there. And uh, they, they stored bombs during the war. So there's all these like bunkers. And of course they had to, um, the government had to own the land around them because these bunkers would blow up. I don't know if you knew that about bombs, but they were somewhat unstable. And they would um, store them in there. And they actually, I don't think they um, used that after World War II too much, but so that's always been prairie. And um, John Weaver, um, who, who studied the prairie, did some of the most important studies on prairie back in the 30s, had all his students go out there. And they did some amazing research out there. They, count, uh, you know, they counted everything and they dug up uh, roots. If you go down to the uh, State Museum, you will see these um, pictures that go, there's a picture of a prairie plant and the, all the roots attached to it. Those were Weaver's students. Uh, they dug them up to measure the roots, and some of them go down 15 feet. So, you know, the prairie is pretty darn sturdy. Um, for that reason, they have extensive root systems. So, anyway, this is called <clears throat> New Year's on Nine Mile Prairie. Clouds in long rolls above the prairie hold promises they can't keep. We walk in perennial tracks over complicated tangles, eons of roots, an affinity of grasses lying together, the ritual breathing of earth. On the hilltop, an elemental snapshot nibbles at the gamut, winter, the gaunt equalizer. Solitude whistles through empty nest boxes, nest boxes around each chain link of the heart. We are guests at a muslin tablecloth, served up sepia seed heads under the forgiving distance of blue sky. Alone together in the grace of resolution and celebration, our gifts to each other toward imperfect beginnings. Thank you.